This is the new Tata Nexon XE. I'm going to tell you the features of this car. And let's see. Is it rich enough for 6.85 lakhs at showroom price? Now let's find out. It gets smoked out halogen headlamps. No fog lamps. It gets ORVMs, not body colored. And handles are also not body colored. A chrome grill which is there on the top models is replaced by a grey grill. Only front, front row power windows are available. And you only get manually adjustable in mirrors. The base model gets R15 15 inch alloy wheels which are good enough to look at. You do get the signature LED LED tail lamp. Let's check out the back seat. The back seat is soft, there's a lot of cushioning and also there are seat belts for every user. The boot needs to be extended by pressing this button. It gets a 385 liter boot, boot which is expandable up to 690 liters of boot. The door gets a reflector as well for uh, starting cars. Utility spaces are smartly managed. You get an umbrella keeper here with a dryer inside and side cup and bottle holders. This car has a ground clearance of about 35 cm which is quite good. The next one is a subcompact SUV which means it should look good in the parking lot and also look cool when you're handing over the keys to the valet at a party and also work when the road runs out. Interiors of the Nexon XE. It gets smooth and glossy uh, AC outliner. You get only driver airbags, that's for safety, and ABS and EBD. <laughs> the car gets three change on the flying modes, city for medium, eco for mileage, and sport gives you all the 110 HP. Overall, the Tata Nexon is rich enough even if it be for the XE. This car has a lot of muscle and is good. If you are tight for a budget, within 7 lakhs and want a subcompact SUV, stylish. But if you want the Nexon, the Nexon XE is still a good buy.